Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a makeup video. It might be chatty, it might not be. I'm not sure how I'm feeling at the moment. It might be really chatty, who knows? So today I wanna film some makeup and I feel like I wanna do a purple kind of smoky eye. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of purples around lately, a lot of purple palettes. Um, I've got purple on my nails at the moment, so yeah. I feel like I haven't done purple in a while on my eyes. Take a shot every time I say purple in this video. Originally I was going to film with the James Charles palette just because I've never used it before and I've got it sitting in the drawer over there and it's just been kind of waiting for me to use it. But then I realized I had this Morphe palette that I've never used and it's pretty much all pink and purple and I was like, now I need to use this one. They really need to get rid of these, they're so annoying. So this is what the palette looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. These colors in here are to die for. And there's a lot of purples, a lot of pinks. There's some browns. So I thought it would be appropriate to use this palette today. If you want to see me film with the James Charles palette, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to use it and let me know what kind of look maybe you want to see with that palette. I just need to keep an eye on the time because I've got pastitsis currently in the oven and I don't want them to burn. That's kind of my late lunch today. I was meant to film this morning, but then I did some makeup up for my sister-in-law and here we are it's the afternoon for my eye base i'm going to use my p louise base in the shade rumor 2 i feel like i haven't used this in such a long time i'm just going to tap this on with a synthetic brush i don't really know what to talk about today i feel like i've got like a million things going through my mind on what i want to talk about but then i'm going to get angry at myself later because it's going to take me so long to edit this video because i don't shut up I don't think I mentioned that the palette was called Such A Gem and this is the 39S palette. If you need to know any details on what I'm using, everything will always be down below. These palettes are so fucking big, I don't know where to put it on this desk. I think I'm going to start off with this darkest purple here and do kind of like the outer corner and the crease. I'm just going to tap this on. I haven't used a Morphe palette in a really, really, really long time, so I don't know what I'm going to think of it. I'm not going to do too much blending at the moment. I'm just going to tap it right on just so I get that pigment. I've got that color down now. I think I might dip into this shade here to kind of blend it out. I might also dip into this one. I'm not sure. I might just dip into this one at the moment. I'm just going to go in with this to blend it just a little bit. I don't know if I like this brush or not. This brush is a little, a little big. I feel like I can't remember anything I said before, but anyway, I did make up for my sister-in-law earlier today because she had her maternity shoot. She's currently pregnant. That's why she's doing a maternity shoot. Um, so I did her makeup. I did like, you know, a pregnancy glow kind of makeup, kind of natural, kind of glam, whatever. So I did that and she just messaged me and the woman who was going to take the photos has just cancelled on her because of the wind apparently. I didn't think it was that windy today and now she's glam for no reason so I feel like she probably needs to go somewhere because she looks so nice. Okay so to help blend those shades out I'm going to take this lighter pink purple. What is this? Like a really cool toned pink. It almost looks purple and I'll just start softly blending out this edge. I'm just going to grab a brush with nothing on it, just to soften the edge a little bit. The only thing this palette doesn't have is kind of like a cream base shade, which I feel like I need. So I'm just going to dip into this little Design Brands palette. I just want an off-white shade just for the brow bone, just because I feel like I can get a really good blend with a shade like this. It's kind of like my eraser. I feel like this side is blended so much better than this side. It's kind of patchy around there. I do want to add a little bit more purple to blend up, but I want to do this first. You don't need a shadow for this step. You can use a face powder if you want and it will work exactly the same. I think I might do kind of like a half cut crease, but before I do that, I'm just going to fill in this outer portion with that dark purple. So I'm just going to tap that right on. I 
I've got that down. I'm going to go back in with my P. Louise base and I'm just going to kind of cut out the first half of the eye. I've already like fucked this up, but I'm going to try and set it down so it stops moving. And I'm going to use this shimmery kind of purpley pink. I think that turned out better than I expected it to. I wasn't sure for a moment. I thought I completely stuffed it up, but it looks really good. The shades I did mix for my lid was this one here and then this pink as well. It kind of looks like I've used more of this, but I did use probably just as much of this pink. This one kind of has like a reflect to it, but it looks so cool. I'm going to go ahead and do the same to this eye. I swear, I don't know how people just do cut creases so easily. Like it takes me so long. And you know, you see those people on Instagram that literally like do it in one swoop. Like they literally go, and it's just like perfect. It's so, it's so annoying because I want to do that too. But here I am like tapping it on like multiple times, trying to get my line perfect. I do have a new eyeliner. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Liner. I don't really like the Better Than Sex mascara. That's just me personally. I hear people say they love it. It just flakes on me so bad and like falls into my eyes and actually hurts. So I don't really like their mascara, but I've never used this. So I'm going to try it out. I won't be able to talk when I do this. So just be patient. First impression, this isn't very black or it's just not coming out very well. It is coming out, but it's like not black. Quick thoughts on the eyeliner. It's not the blackest eyeliner I've ever used. It's not the worst either. Um, I felt like once I built it up, it did get darker and it didn't get crusty, which is a really good thing because you know how some eyeliners, once you layer them, they get really flaky and they can crack and they feel really dry and tight on the eye. This one doesn't feel like that at all. Like it's dried, but it's not it's not tight and it doesn't look like it's flaky or dry or anything. So at least you can build this one up without getting that feeling or having it like flake off. Cause yeah, it looks pretty good to me. It's definitely like matte. I'm just going to whip on my Rimmel Accelerator mascara before I put on some lashes. I was so lazy today. Like I wanted to be tan, but I couldn't be bothered tanning. So I put on this Bondi Sands one day tan. It's literally like body makeup and I just put it on my neck. I put it on my hands too, but I feel like it's actually come off because I've been like washing dishes and you know, washing my hands today after I touched the dog. I just had the most random thought. Do you guys remember like MSN? Are you like old enough to know what MSN is? That shit. I used to like get home from school, get straight onto my like little laptop and go straight onto MSN. Like I didn't see all my friends at school all day and I would talk to them again at night. What a bloody memory. That and MySpace, oh my God. I miss MySpace. Like I know it's still around, but it's not the same as what it used to be. For my lashes today, I'm going to be using my new Bekay Beauty Andrew lashes. Um, I did say in my last makeup video that my friend Jacob has launched his lashes. He's launched his pre-existing ones and he's launched new ones as well. Um, so he's got the boys collection and the girls collection. The boys are the new collection, so they're a little bit more natural and subtle. Um, Andrew still has a little bit of drama. So I'm going to use these today. Usually I would go for like a GG or like an angel because I love a dramatic kind of drag lash. That's just me. Um, but I'll use these today because I did use them last weekend and I really did like them. And I feel like we can kind of show off the cut crease if I use these today. Because I'm using duo glue, it takes a little bit to dry. I'm going to prime my face while this kind of gets a little bit tacky. I'll just pump it on the back of my hand. And this is just the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Primer. It's pretty much like a moisturizer. I just want something easy. And I feel like I have used up a lot of this now. Just because I did say like in numerous videos, I wanna start using, you know, the makeup I've got. Now I feel like I've actually used some because it's actually getting a bit empty. I am getting a little bit hot in this room and then I looked at my cheek. I don't know what that is. 
like I don't know if this is like a heat rash or whatnot but it's literally just popped up on my face now and then I've got like this red mark here I've got no idea like I am sweating a little bit so I should probably take this off I've just put on a t-shirt I actually feel heaps better now um so for my foundation I'm going to use the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour breathable foundation I haven't used this in ages I thought maybe the color would match this tan And I'm just going to blend it out with a foundation brush. You know how I was talking about MSN before? This is years ago when I was with my um, ex-boyfriend, I guess. Now, I remember I was talking to him online and we're like, yeah, we're going to go shopping this weekend, whatever. And then all of a sudden my MSN like logged me out. And when it logged me out, I went to like log back in, right? And then it said, you can't be logged in at two places at once. So I knew someone was like in my MSN account. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Eventually I got back in to my account. This is so weird to talk about. And then I saw my current boyfriend's chat come up and I can't remember what he said I think he said like are we still on for this weekend for shopping and I'm like we just spoke about this like why are you asking again um if you hear any drilling that's just Jared in the backyard so just ignore that anyway I was like didn't we just talk about this I don't know I could just kind of tell something was really weird and like off in the way he was speaking like he kept putting like smiley faces after everything and I'm just like what the fuck's wrong with you I don't know this is such a random story that I'm telling in the middle of this makeup video. Before I continue the story I'm going to use my concealer and I'm going to use this Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and this one's in the shade C5. Anyway yeah I realized that my boyfriend was being really weird on MSN and he kept sending me smiley faces and then he sent me a webcam request and I was just like like we did a webcam, but I don't know. It was just like a really random time for him to be clicking on the webcam. So I ended up looking at his email address and I don't know what made me look at it, but I looked at it and like everything was the same. His profile picture was the same. His little quote thing was the same. Like everything was the same. And then I looked at his actual like email MSN account address and it was the same except there was like a full stop in between like what his email was like it was the name of his email and there was like a little full stop in between so it wasn't actually his email address and I wasn't actually talking to my boyfriend anyway I had a look and I just kind of kept playing along pretending I thought it was my boyfriend um and then I went to like my blocked list like to see if anyone was blocked and my boyfriend's real email was actually blocked from my email. I'm just like, who the fuck has logged into my MSN, blocked my boyfriend, but made a fake account of my boyfriend and is now speaking to me? Anyway, so I was like, how do I find out who this person is? I kind of had an inkling on who it is and they're a fucking weirdo, I'll tell you that much. I suspect it's this guy that I used to talk to and he was a little bit strange. Anyway, he kept sending me a webcam request. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to accept it, but I'm going to cover up my webcam on my laptop. So I put like blue tack or whatever on it and I accepted the request. And when I accepted it, guess what? You couldn't see who it was. It was completely black. And I'm like, you know, this is just ridiculous and so weird. But the thing that gave it away and I knew exactly who it was, which I can't say because I don't know if they still like I don't know, linger around, like who knows, this is like 10 years ago maybe, and they commented on one of my Instagram posts like, mm, maybe two years ago, and I just ignored it and then they unfollowed me. Really strange, and keep in mind, he's got a girlfriend too. When the webcam kind of thing opened up, mine opened up, obviously it was dark so you couldn't see me, and theirs was dark as well, but in the past when I used to talk to this person and I thought they were pretty normal, we used to webcam as well, you know, chat on MSN and webcam, and every time I used to webcam with him, he had this weird little grey border around like his screen, it was like a little grey border. And even though his screen was black, it had that little border. So I know it was him. And I think I literally said back to that person, I'm like, I know who this is. And as soon as I said that, like they fucked off, like they went offline. And yeah, it was just really bizarre. To put it as nicely as I can, I think that guy was really angry that I just never fucked him. And 
that's honestly the truth like I just never went there and I think he just couldn't let it go because I think he used to get every single girl he used to try to get and he's not like an ugly person or anything like he got all the girls um, and then yeah he didn't get me so I don't know if that was like disappointing for him so that was like 10 years ago so a long time ago and then only two years ago he probably commented on one of my Instagram posts saying oh, this is a great video and I'm just like what the fuck ignored it he unfollowed me and he also added me on snapchat too and he just sent me photos of him like with his coffee in the morning and I'd literally just open him and close him I wouldn't even say anything and I'm just like you're strange I'm just going to continue talking through like all the noise that's happening in the backyard just because if I stop like I'm going to be waiting for ages anyway but yeah going back to that story like that guy I believe I deleted him off Facebook kind of after that stuff happened and then like he'd try to re-add me and then I'd just block him and then like he'd make another profile and try to add me again so I'd decline it and block him and then he'd make another profile like I think he did it at least four or five times that's what I mean like he was just odd like and also to hack into my like MSN it's kind of weird yeah but like who knows if he's like watching this video I've got no clue like for him to go to my Instagram that many years later and then comment on it and then send me random snaps of himself, I think, waiting for me maybe to say something. I'm just going to use my Nakia Joy Cosmetics Powder just to bake these smile lines. And I'm just going to use it here because it just like blurs everything. For the rest of my face, I'm just going to add a little bit of the Maybelline Matte Maker Powder. This one's in the shade Natural Beige. I just need to add some right here because my foundation is a little bit sticky and just a tiny bit on the nose. For my bronzer, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer and this one's in the shade Private Island. I really don't know why my skin is so like splotchy today like I can literally feel it under even the makeup that my skin just feels I don't know irritated almost and it was like irritated before I really put anything on and I've used this primer like a hundred times and my skin never reacts to it so I don't know if it's just coming down to me like being a bit warm in this room I've got no idea but you can kind of see I don't know if you can see it in the camera but I can see like the splotchiness here. And for blush, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Blush. And this one's in the shade Warm Soul. And this blush just goes with everything. You could literally have any eye look on and this blush will just go with it. Okay, um, I'm just going to give my face a quick mist with the Morphe Setting Spray. Because I'm sweating and also I'm going to put highlight on and I want it to kind of like really, you know, stand out. And for my highlighter, I'm going to use one of my faves, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. I'm just going to whack this on the inner corners as well. I'm just going to finish these eyes off and I'm just using the same colors that I used for my crease. Let's finish off with some mascara. And a little bit of Inglot gel liner just on the outer corner here. For lips, I'm going to use my Gerard Cosmetics lip liner in Sugar and Spice. I've had this for ages, but it's just like a real good go-to lip liner. I think for my lip color today, I'm going to use the designer brand's Lipsticks Creamy Matte Lip Crayon. And this one's in the shade Skinny Latte. Ooh, this is so like soft and creamy. I might pop a gloss over it. It is a little bit matte, but it's very like creamy and comfortable. I really like this lip combo and I love this. 
I don't know why I haven't used it. I want to give my lips a little bit of shine as well. So I've got the Morphe X Jeffree Star Lip Topper. And this one's in the shade Slurp. But anyway, this is the finished makeup look. It's a little different to what I was envisioning. I wasn't visioning doing a cut crease today but for some reason my brain told me to and I don't do them that often. I feel like the shimmer has definitely transferred um, above my cut crease but that's kind of my fault because I didn't want to cut my crease too high so I cut it a little bit lower so I knew that was going to definitely transfer there but I do have to say these were probably the easiest purple shadows I've used in a really long time. I can't actually think of another purple shadow that has been really, really, really good. These ones were really easy to work with. I'm very surprised. And that shimmer shade on the lid is absolutely beautiful. Everything else I think was okay. Obviously, I love the lashes. Um, the liner was better than I thought. When I first used the liner, I was like, mm, I don't know. But it actually is quite nice. You can build it up, so that's okay. And it doesn't flake or crack, so... That's pretty good. The Inglot liner just keeps transferring. I feel like it never used to transfer on me and now it just bleeds like right up in here. So that's a little bit annoying. I don't think I've got anything else to say about any of the other products because I have used a lot of these before. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video and what other types of videos you guys would like to see. Thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.